Hi, today is a very hot sunny day as you can see behind me. Let me just show you the car. Yeah, and I'm sure you might be wondering to what limit can I push the solar system. So let me show you. Let me just take you in and we are in. As you can see, I have the TV on. So the TV is on. The woofer is also on. So that's the switch behind and the TV is also on. And then when you come to this section, you notice that my laptop is on. Let me just uh, connect this monitor as well. So you see that that is also going to be on. Let me just move this up. Okay, great. So that is also on because you can see that I've turned that on from here. Now I've turned on the inverter so you can see the light. So we are running about 25%. The fridge is also on. Let me just show you that. So you can see that this fridge is on. So yeah, just got some few stuff in it. The fridge is also running. Let me just add up the pumping machine to it. So I'm gonna turn on the pumping machine. Just be sure it's running. You can see it's running over there. And because today is um, Sunday, sorry, because today is Saturday, I'm going to be doing some, um, some ironing for church tomorrow. So let me just power on the iron as well. So you can see the iron is on from here. Now let's go back to the inverter and then have a look. So you can hear some homing sound from the inverter. Great. Now you can see the percentage over there just because I added up the iron to it and it's even gone up. So that is not good. Let me just turn that off. Yeah, so I have that turned off. Yeah, so at least I've been able to push it to its um, limits. We don't have so much batteries. I don't even know for what we have, it's able to run all these things. The reason is because um, with the configuration that is done for the solar system, it's configured to take power from both the solar panels and then the battery. So when the sunlight is very hot like this, it's not consuming so much power from the battery, but it's the taking power, direct power from the solar panel so yeah at least we are able to push it to a certain limit especially during the daytime in the evening time once you try this you're going to run out of power so this is just to show you that it's possible to run a lot of appliances using the solar system once you have the necessary configuration and then the amount of batteries that you need to run that so let me turn off this yeah so that is just about it for this video now for the current um, configuration that we have we have four panels and then uh, four batteries as well so four panels with each running 180 watts so 182 hour 82 watts 182 watts 182 watts and then for the batteries we have 100 each four of them so for the panels they are configured in series so two together and then the other two together running as uh, one, you know, because they are connected to you, so it increases the voltage and it retains the, the watt. And yeah, so we are, we've configured both of them in series, and then the other one in series, and then they connect together in parallel, and then they come straight to the um, inverter. And then also the batteries, two connected in series, and the other two connected in series, and then they are connected together in parallel to the inverter. So they are making up 24 volts for the um this the batteries and then the solar panels i think one is 18 point something volts so that makes like 36 point something volts once you connect two together so basically that's just about it for this video just to show you to what limits we are able to push the solar system if we want to uh, even with the configurations that we have as at now